Welcome to our third floor attic space in our 120 year old Victorian home. In this video, we are going to take you along with us as we completely rehab and transform this amazing space into a beautiful one of a kind vintage school room. I'm going to fill it with antique finds and thrifted finds that are going to perfectly suit our homeschooling needs in this space. And you're gonna see the complete process before, during, and after. I am so excited for you to watch this. You're going to be amazed. If you're not subscribed, do so right now. Without further ado, let's jump in. This room has kind of just always set as a storage room. We had everything rewired, so we have electrical up here, and we had a fan put in, and a light fixture over there, so we're good to go as far as that goes, which is nice, but obviously we need to refinish the floors. I made a big mistake and started painting them and then realized that that is stupid to paint uh, oak floors, even though they were in pretty rough condition. I think I was just in a hurry that day, but now I'm going to sand the paint off and then refinish the floors. So that's going to be the big project. All right, and here's the progress I've made with sanding. <laughs> Definitely have to go rent a sander. Go a lot quicker, but I think it should come up okay.
method that you use to put it on is to take it off. <laughs> Get it wet. <clears throat> as wet as you can. So today I am working on getting all the little pieces of paper that were left behind um, and just kind of going through washing the walls really, really well. So it's making kind of a big mess, but once we get this done, then I can actually start repairing the walls, spackling, and I actually enjoy doing that. So that shouldn't be too bad, but it just things like this, I'm going around and cleaning up and scrubbing some of the residue off the walls. And we still have to do the stairwell. Remove the paper that is. And we're gonna do some repair to the, sh the plaster here where it's cracked. We're gonna try and do some anchoring with some screws on either side of the crack and see if we can't get that kind of back in place and secured a little bit better again. But slowly, 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 but surely, we're getting stuff done up here. And I'm also gonna try and put the citrus strip on the baseboards today and maybe even some of the floors and then cover it with plastic and get some of that removed. So that's where we're at. We're just working on this, you know, a couple hours here and there at a time when we can. So we're not putting like a full day's work or anything into the room, so moving a little slower all right second application of citrus strip and this is where we are at and then once i get this scraped off then we are going to take some crud cutter and scrub it really good and then i'll sand it and we should be good to go on the floors of course this is frustrating since i did this to myself uh, but once it's all done, it'll all be forgotten, right? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. But we're just trucking away and trying to get as much done as we can every day, little bits at a time. All right, Let's see what uh, Cameron's up here doing. I'll let you take a look at our tower. All right, so we have, are you in here? Yeah. Oh. Can you open the door? Where are you? He's in the tower. <laughs> this is our turret or our tower. And just like most old homes, we have bats. So we're working hard trying to get rid of them putting LED lights in here and we have a bat expert come in. We've been dealing with them for a couple years now on and off, so. So here is the aftermath of trying to anchor this plaster to the ceiling a little bit better. For some reason, we were not hitting any of the lath. I don't know why, some spots we did, others we didn't, so. But it does feel like it's still pretty secure on there, so hopefully those screws that we added will just anchor it so we don't have to worry about it, but we just kind of went around where we could, so now I have all of that to fill. Oh my goodness. So here I am. Let me show you the stairwell here. I didn't film any of that, but I'll just give you a glimpse. Look at that. I mean, the stairwell was really, really rough. And then my husband um, accidentally punctured a huge hole in the wall trying to remove a uh, nail. So then that was a big uh, thing I had to patch up. Find these seamen 
Okay, so here's an update on the room progress. So far, I've started mudding and it's gonna take forever because it's a huge room and there is literally not one wall or one surface that doesn't need to be mudded and prepared for paint. Not only do I need to mud, but I need to caulk in the corners because they're all gapped and that's just gonna work a lot better than trying to mud in them and trying to make that a clean, surface and then of course we're gonna need to sand once I get things mudded which always makes a big mess and takes forever and then and then I can paint so I just started working on like the upper portion of the room I have the ladder ready I've done kind of everything that I can reach without being on a ladder and then I have to do the ceiling which already I can like tell my neck I'm trying to prepare prepare my neck for that because uh, it's going to be rough but I think once we get to the point where I can paint I'm going to start feeling a lot better about everything and then hopefully once that's all done we can focus on the floors and get those refinished and honestly I have no idea what I'm in for for refinishing these floors I've never done anything like that before so I'm a little bit nervous about it because I've heard other influencers and stuff like uh, XL McKenna uh, basically express how horrible of a task that is. So I'm a little nervous to do it, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, hopefully we don't mess it up too bad. So anyway, let's get back to it. Fairies found me. And they led the way. They. Came. 
clear the way to my heart All the hurt, all the pain under the skin I had fainted And they carried me They clear the way to my heart All right, here's a little table I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it's really cute. It definitely is smaller than what I was initially hoping to have up there. I was hoping it had a leaf, uh, but it didn't. And I knew that, but uh, things always look different when you measure them uh, with the tape measure before you get them. And then when you get them, they s seem a lot smaller. But anyway, we're gonna make this work. I'm going to paint the bottom with this moss green color. I think this is the color I'm gonna go with when I paint things in the room. Kind of like a, like a nice vintage green schoolroom color. But this is the table we're gonna use for now. And then if it doesn't work out, I'll just keep looking for a bigger table. The problem is we can't get much up those stairs. So I have to be really um, considerate of that when I choose pieces of furniture to go up to the third floor. But anyway, let's get this painted. All right, there is one coat. It covered absolutely amazing. I tell you, spray painting table legs is the way to go. It is just so much easier. But I think this color is darling. I really like it. At first I thought I wanted to go with something a lot darker, but I think this is gonna be good since we're gonna have so much dark wood and some black accents and stuff in the room. So I'm excited to um, use this color on the other little things that I got in the room and kind of tie it all in together. All right, here's the next little paint project that we're gonna start working on here. Uh, I thrifted this cute little vintage wooden school desk, or writing desk, I should say, but it's gonna be uh, our little school desk. So we're gonna get this painted the same green that we did on the table there. That way we have some cohesion up there. Um, but I think I thrifted this for $30 at Salvation Army. So that was a fun find. <laughs> After many, many, many weeks of working in here every single day, we are on the last coat of polyurethane for these floors that have been such an undertaking. Uh, but one last coat. I'm finishing up a few things uh, today as well. Uh, and then we can start moving all of the homeschool stuff in. So I'm so excited. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss everything that I have collected and curated. Uh, to put into this vintage antique uh, one room homeschool room.
So here is my solution for not being able to find a vintage chalkboard on wheels, like a freestanding one. I decided that why don't I just use the mirror that's built into this amazing surround with all the drawers and stuff and turn that into something usable like a chalkboard. So you saw me get it all painted with the magnetic paint and then the chalkboard paint over top of that. And now I'm just using command strips to attach it to the mirror without damaging it and without it being a permanent thing. Lost in the woods, under dust, and the fairies found me. And they led the way, they clear the way to my heart. All the hurt, all the pain under the skin, I had fainted. Clear the way to my heart
kids uh, first day of school in the new school room and they're going to be coming up here soon uh, I can hear them they keep asking is it time is it time but we're all so excited they have their backpacks here with some snacks in them It's a little warm. Days like these last With one another With the feeling past Would you find out with me If it all starts to come Search the pieces 